friends, did you know why the intermediates of glycolysis are phosphorylated? So the first thing, the phosphorylated intermediates cannot leave the cell. How? Do you know that how the molecules transported from cell to other place? The molecules are transported from one place to other place with the help of transporters. But the plasma membrane lacks transporters for the phosphorylated molecules. So that's why they cannot leave the cell. There is too much difference between the intracellular concentration and the extracellular concentration of these molecules. Even then, these phosphorylated intermediates cannot leave the cell because of the absence of these plasma membrane transporters. The thing is, phosphorylated groups are the essential component of the enzymatic conservation of energy. So generally, you know that ATP break down to give you the energy. When the phosphoanhydride bond break down, what is phosphoanhydride bond? This is present in ATP. Adenosine triphosphate is having the phosphoanhydride bond. When it breaks down, it releases a lot of energy. And some of the energy is conserved in the form of phosphate groups. Like when glucose is con converted into glucose 6-phosphate, ATP breakdown. And it is converted into ADP. And the phosphate group goes to the, this is your glucose. Glucose is converted into glucose 6-phosphate. And ATP breakdown and converted into ADP. So the breakdown of this anhydride bond releases lot of energy which is conserved. Some of the energy is conserved in glucose 6-phosphate as a phosphoester bond. So these phosphate groups are also important for the conservation of energy. Some of the high energy compound of glycolysis, 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and phosphoenol pyruvate. 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and phosphoenol pyruvate. They are very high energy compound and when these molecules provide phosphorylated group or the inorganic phosphate to ADP to convert it into the ATP. So the importance of phosphorylated groups is in the energy conservation. Third and the last one is the importance of the phosphorylated intermediates of glycolysis is these phosphate group binds to the active site of enzymes. These phosphate groups binds to the active site of enzyme. So what they do when they bind, the binding energy lowers the activation energy energy and these phosphate group generally forms the complex with magnesium ion magnesium ATP complex or 
magnesium ADP complex or the phosphorylated intermediates of the glycolysis binds with the magnesium ion and then they bind to the enzyme to lower the activation energy and that's why they increase the specificity of the enzyme. What it means is that the enzyme is very specific to that particular reaction. So you can summarize like this. The importance of phosphorylated intermediates That's all about the importance of phosphorylated intermediate. I hope you like my video. Thank you. Please comment and subscribe my channel if you like it. And if you have any question, please send me via my email tripsh11 at gmail.com. My email address is, is on my front page. Thank you.